is Nurse Dina. I wanted to do a quick video for you guys because I've had so many people ask me how to make baby food. Um, once I end up telling them how I make it, usually people start frowning up or making these weird faces and it's really not that difficult. So I wanted to show everybody how you can make it. For one, there's been all these recalls and, and all the top baby foods saying there's um, arsenic and lead and this is an easy way that you can know exactly what's going into your baby food. Um, so let's start. The first thing that you want to do, I always use distilled water. You can get any brand that you want. I just um, prefer distilled water because I know that it doesn't have anything extra in it. Um, whatever vegetable that you plan on cooking today, I did carrot and I went ahead and had them um, boiled ahead of time. You just add some water, boil them till they're soft enough. They don't have to be um, boiled till they're completely mush because then they won't have any more nutrients in them. So these are just boiled till they're just soft enough to where you can cut them, but you're not to the point where you're stabbing it to get through it. So then you don't need anything fancy. All you need other than that, you can use a blender. I do have a food processor, but you don't have to use that. You can use a regular blender. Um, I'm gonna take the carrots and just put them here in the blender. And this is about, I think this is a pound of carrots. And feel free to mix whatever you want. Sometimes I mix in together um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, fruits, vegetables, whatever it is that you're making. Broccoli, carrots, we do lentils. Um, I'll add blueberries sometimes, depending on what I um, am trying to give him. And I'm just adding the rest of the water that was in there. First of all, that water is going to have the extra nutrients that's in it. And then it's also going to give you enough consistency in there so that when you blend it, it won't just be super thick. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend. age your baby is that's going to decide um you know how long you want to blend it for my baby doesn't really have teeth yet so he can't um he can't do it too too chunky but he's got two little teeth that are kind of starting to come up so this is pretty good it's just that's pretty much it. It's, it's a consistency where it's chopped up. I might just blend it for a second more. More than a second, probably like 10 seconds. that you get one that says that it's BPA free so that when you freeze it, it won't leak toxins into your baby's food because then it's kind of defeating the point. Um, they also have these cute little silicone trays you can get. I got them from Amazon. They're like four bucks or something like that. Not expensive at all. So next I go ahead and I just add the carrots to the ice cube tray. And one thing that I forgot to mention, when you boil your vegetables, you want to make sure that you let them cool. You don't want to start blending them while they're hot and then putting them in the ice cube tray to freeze and they're too hot because then you're going to get bacteria. So just like how you would do your regular food when you heat it, you want to let the food cool. And then just go ahead and add it to your... Um, blender and then to your ice cube tray. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So what I'm going to try to do after I kind of 
put them in there. Make a mess, I guess. I try to make them a little bit flat. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. I just kind of level, leveled it out a little bit. And then this is just my preference. You don't have to do this, but I just take a Ziploc bag and I put it over the tray and I pop it in the freezer overnight. And then I'll show you what I do after that. After I pop them in the freezer in the morning, I usually take them out and I have these little cubes. These are lentils. This one's spinach and blueberries. And I just label them, date them, and they're in the fridge, whatever I want him to eat. Um, usually one cube is about a serving. So if you have a baby that just started eating, then usually they'll start off with one cube and then you start advancing as they get bigger and they need more food. But you can mix and match whatever you want, whether it's spinach and carrots, blueberries, whatever you want to put in there, you can go ahead, feel free to mix it up however you like. And that's it. Simple.